Hi, I'm Bill Selleck, and I walk you through the NCTM strand. We're on part two of the number and operation strand. Again, this is our first strand. It's by far the biggest. Those are the three standards within number and operations. This video is talking about standard number two, understanding meanings of operations and how they relate to one another. So you can see just that, that part I changed to white. I'll just say understanding meanings, even though that's not the entire standard. So. This one's significantly shorter than the first standard. Understanding numbers is by far the biggest standard of all strands. Understanding meanings is understanding how numbers relate to each other. So the first one is understanding what the meaning is behind addition and subtraction. And more importantly, understanding that relationship. A big part of second grade is the fact family. So understanding how the numbers 2, 3, and 5 fit together. How the operations affect their relationship. There's an app out there that's a little confusing at first because it's not quite the fact family, but if you look at the numbers 5 and 2, this is how you can begin to introduce multiplication towards the end of second, beginning of third grade. You have the two numbers, 2 and 5. If you add them, you go down to 7. If you multiply them, you go up to 10. So if you have a student that's struggling with understanding how relationships between addition and multiplication fit together, a great app to use for um, the iOS, for iPod Touches, iPhones, all of those, is Diamath. It's important for, understand, for students to understand what the effect of adding is. If you add, do things get bigger or smaller? That's the most basic way to understand it. If you're subtracting, things are going to be smaller or less than what they once were. And again, it's important not just to, to understand, all right, when I see the minus sign, here's the step I do, but to really understand the meaning behind when I subtract, here's what happens to something. Equal sets is a fantastic way of grouping and explaining things to students because they're used to this all the time. If you're doing equal sets, everyone gets two cookies. Equal sets, there's 20 kids, so we're going to have 20 backpacks. Again, it's really obvious students already know this. They understand that every kid's going to have a backpack. It's just labeling that with equal sets. That's what hits the second standard, understanding meanings of number and operations. So if you're observing a teacher and you see them talking about 20 backpacks, 20 students, that's the standard understanding meanings of operations and our strand again number and operations if students are in the playhouse if there's four chairs there can be four students the whole point of the second one understanding meaning is to make it relevant have it come alive to them you don't want to just give them a worksheet with plus and minus addition subtraction it has to be something that they see every day it has to be something that they can touch and feel and manipulate so if it's relevant to students, they're going to understand the second standard, understanding meanings of operations, and more importantly, how those operations relate to one another. So this is the end of our second strand. Um, I told you that the second standard was significantly shorter. So thanks for listening. Bye-bye.